Yes, my name is Martin Stucki from Morenko Swiss Helicopter, and this is our new project. It's a helicopter with two-ton payload. When we look on the market, we wanted to bring on one side an innovative product, and we wanted to bring a product that brings advantages. So the product has a serial hybrid drivetrain, which allows us to implement safety features, and it's something that gives us a lot of openness for the future because we would be able to easily implement fuel cells in a later stage or if batteries are available to exchange some of the turbine power by batteries. It's a completely conventional helicopter, so we go into the helicopter market in a known market and we know that there is a demand for such a helicopter. As we are looking on the, the market, then we see that there is uh, a lot of eVTOL projects coming up. They are mostly fully electrified. So also in electrification, a lot of components and technology is developed. On the other side, we have still the conventional helicopter. We want to make a bridge between the two things. And we want to have a product where we are not where we do not necessarily have to develop flight control software. So it's a conventional helicopter, every helicopter pilot can fly it. The serial hybrid drivetrain has the advantage that we can get rid of the gearboxes, so we can re reduce complexity and we can reduce maintenance cost. Serial hybrid, what we understand is that we make electrical energy with a turbine, with a generator, and directly use this to drive the helicopter. So we have most probably an overdimensional starter battery, which then helps us, for example, at the end of an outer rotation, to give the pilot 30 seconds, for example, full power to finish the outer rotation. Serial hybrid has the advantage that we can reduce complexity on one side. We can add safety on the other side because we can give the pilot more power in difficult situations. When we look on the market, then there is a size in the 1.2 ton payload class where the largest part of the turbine helicopter market is. But there is also a lot of old aircrafts flying, which are a little bit higher with larger cabins. For example, Bell 205s, Bell 212s. There is a market for the KMAX, a special market. And what we wanted to do is to go exactly in this gap. So we have two-ton payload with a large cabin, which gives us flexibility for missions. And we have more payload so that we can replace also some of the older fleet where no, actually no um, other models are available. With two-ton payload, we will have a maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft around 3.5 ton. We can accommodate up to eight passengers in the back plus the passengers on the, the co-pilot seat. Filling the gap for passengers, it's also having a very nice cabin for hims. A cabin where the doctor can sit at the head of the patient, which is for the future very important. Uh, it may become a requirement. To, to make the helicopter as economical as possible, we have to optimize maintenance cost because it's one large part of the overall uh, hourly or, or cost. What we do is on one side we reduce complexity, we don't have gearboxes which brings the maintenance cost down and then it's a question of optimization of the whole helicopter so that you can do maintenance as efficient as possible and having 
as much parts, not with a lifetime on condition. We would like to implement the HAMS so that we see what happens on the helicopter and can do the maintenance from what has been flown and not only from hours or years. I think it would be great if we can do something like 20 or 25 percent of cost saving. Helicopters are mostly used in mountainous areas, so hot and high performance is extremely important. We want to achieve 1.5 ton payload in 10,000 feet, which gives a very nice performance for all the operations. The helicopter will have a speed from approximately 140 knots traveling and we will implement the tank volume so that we have three hours of range. That means also for VIP transports, for example, taxi flights, it gives you a very nice range and the possibility to go really point to point without uh, landing in between for refueling. To achieve these performance values, it starts with the engine. We look for a 1000 horsepower engine and that means then we have around 700 kilowatt or plus minus also this 1000 horsepower as a generator and on the main rotor it's 10% or 8% less because we need less power on the main rotor because we use some of the power at the tail rotor. But overall it will be a helicopter in the 1000 horsepower range. Helicopters have one large advantage that they have low disc loading, especially when you can implement a large rotor diameter. We will implement the rotor diameter from approximately 12 meters, which gives us exactly the good disc loading. And then for sure, low weight is important. We can achieve this with a full carbon composite body and it also has the advantage that we can implement safety features, passive safety in case of a crash. You can see this in Formula One. And we can achieve a, a body which is not very critical for corrosion. To develop this helicopter, we think we need approximately three years to achieve first flight and another three to five years until certification of the first model, which would be the single. But we would do the twin or do a platform so that you can do a twin relatively easy just after. From the market, it's a utility helicopter. So it's a helicopter for most of the operators which use the helicopter in many different applications mostly sling load, but these operators often do also sightseeing flights with the same helicopter. And another specialized market for sure is HIMS market, because the large cabin and in a second step also the twin engine is, makes it very good. The platform is designed so that we can easily implement a second engine. The second engine is important to fulfill the European requirements on one side and it's much easier to implement it with a, with a hybrid drivetrain because we can use two smaller engines with generators and the rest of the helicopter remains completely unchanged. We know also from several operators that this is a dream for an, for an operator. Like for example, Air Zermatt, they operate single and twins, and they would like to have only one platform because it makes maintenance, spare parts, etc. Training of the pilots much easier when they are as much the same as possible. From a pilot perspective, it will be a conventional helicopter. So if you are a helicopter pilot, you can fly this helicopter 
and we will look that it's also ergonomically nice so that it's easy to use and that we can implement and there this electrical motor gives some chance to implement safety features with relatively low effort. As a company now we have started with the conceptual work on this helicopter. We, the, the basic concept is here. Actually on this exhibition we looked what is the reaction. We had very good reactions and now we also look for funding of the project. It's an important part to, to get it ready. These are the two main, main things we wanted to achieve and we have achieved. I think the next steps is really to look into all the contacts we made here. We already have some contacts and to get the funding together. If this is done, then we will start full steam with the development. And in parallel, for sure, we will do some development work as much as it possible without full funding.